As I sit here thinking about the end of the year reviews I need to write, I was compelled to go ahead and try to create a video using the new Acer C720 Chromebook that I have purchased recently. Now, there's out of the box it works. You know, a lot of people said, oh no, you can't. Well, that was older first generation Chromebooks, but it definitely is working as you will see with this. Now, we'll see what the quality is like as I'm done. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with this uh, new Acer uh, C720 Chromebook as it is. It's lightweight. You know, it's funny how a lot of people are very, uh, they like to put down the form factor. I don't see what's wrong with it. You know, a little over two pounds. It's lightweight. It's thin. Um, the video, you know, it's it's not the greatest of video uh, camera here, but it works. And I'm looking at the keyboard. The keyboard is uh, what they call it, chiclet keyboard. It works great. I seem to be having no problems there. I was having a little bit of problems in the beginning learning the trackpad. I was going to Google Plus and trying to crop some photos. And upon doing so, the way it clicks, or excuse me, the way you use your fingers to to make it uh, click and then drag, it was not working, and I couldn't figure that out. It took me a couple hours, half. Eh, it took me more like four hours to figure out. Actually, in the lower left corner of the trackpad, that's it has the ability of click, like a left click on a mouse and hold. So upon left clicking or that lower left corner of the trackpad, holding it down and then dragging my clip. Um, or excuse me, my crop, then I could crop my photo whenever needed, either from the corner or the side. And then upon doing that, I was able to go ahead and crop and use that in, in a uh, blog post, or actually I used it on Google+. Plus. You know, it's funny, I've wrote a lot of different posts on Google+, Plus, and I was, uh, you know, I get some feedback, a little here and there, nothing real dramatic. The first post I, I did about a Chromebook, or actually purchasing a Chromebook, or entering, as I put it, uh, the world of the Chromebook, I have got tremendous feedback on that. Everywhere, for, uh, it's funny because it was from, hey, good job, thanks, you know, thanks for the post, give an update, to, I can't believe you bought a Chromebook. What a waste of money. And uh, so far, I'm rather impressed. I mean, sure, it's 11 inch. Uh, screen, it's not the biggest. You know, I had a, uh, still have an old Zoom, um, a Motorola Zoom tablet, so it's a little bit bigger than that. But what I needed was a couple of things. The main reason I bought a Chromebook was because of the two main reasons. One is price at $249, uh, plus I had a coupon when I bought it through Best Buy. That alone, to me, entering the world of uh, Windows 8 laptop. Really, you need to spend 800 plus dollars. You know, a lot of people go, oh, no, you don't. Yeah, you really do, because you need to have at least 6 gigabytes of RAM or more to really use the uh, Windows tablets, I, or Windows laptops. I don't care what anybody says. So this thing comes with 4 gigabytes as opposed to an HP or the Samsung who has 2 gigabytes. It only has 16 gigabytes of uh, S, um, uh, hard drive. But so far, I'm not seeing where I'm going to need that. I have, have been all Google for a long time. I went from uh, Hotmail to using their uh, SkyDrive into Google. I uh, used Google Mail, so Gmail, uh, the dri uh, Google Drive. Uh, with this, it gave me an additional 100 gigabytes. I don't even use what I had in the first place, so we'll see as I start using this more and more, and it stores things on there. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so the other reason I bought this, besides that was uh, being all Google, the price and being all Google, was the fact I needed the keyboard. I really did. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, I, like I said, I had the, an old Motorola Zoom. And they're just, when I need to do some serious typing, I really needed to get into a keyboard. And I didn't want to buy just an external keyboard for either the Note 2 or the Zoom because generally when I use it, I'm, I'm using it in my chair and I needed to just basically sit it and type it and it just wasn't quite working with the zoom and stuff. Now the other thing was I like to use the tablet for I work from home so I'm a teleworker and when I'm done for the day I get out of my office that I have in my home and when I leave I no longer want to come back into the office. 
even if it's for personal uh, use of a, of a computer, I just don't do it. So I found that I wasn't using my social networks nearly as much. Definitely wasn't blogging as much, if at all. And I was not uh, uh, doing additional posts I needed for some social media for other companies. So I wasn't quite doing those as much after hours, and I really needed to. And so that was the other reason to purchase in this um, Chromebook. Now I think it's what second day into it, and I'm just getting into the video part of it. Um, like I said, I did a, a video chat recently, and the quality, hey, it's it's definitely no 1080p, uh, but it got my video chat through. There seemed to be no lag on my end, from what I heard. I had a lag on the other person's, but that was their network, I believe. So that was completely different. Um, I'm running wireless with this. Uh, connects right into my home network. Uh, I have cable, uh, charter cable, which for me in my region is the best. Um, so I find that even though there's a lot of negativity on the Chromebooks, it's mostly because they don't like Google, really. I enjoy it. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm all in when I use it. I've been using Chrome um, browser for, geez, I don't know how long, for many years. You know, I, I have all of them. I have uh, Internet Explorer. I have Firefox. I have uh, Chrome and Opera all installed. And then I find my go-to has always been the Chrome uh, Chrome browser for the longest time. I use the other one strictly for web design uh, testing. That's about it. Um, maybe once in a while when I need to log into somebody else's account, I'd use a different browser. But other than that, um, I find that I, I use Chrome all the time. So Chrome's ability to sync between platforms is huge for me. My bookmarks, um, my apps, all the apps so now because Chrome is an app driven uh, laptop or device everything is syncs so whatever I do here on the Chromebook translates into my Chrome browser if I still use it on my on my uh, desktop machine we'll see how long I use that after this the only reason I really do is because I can transition between my work computer into my um, personal computer use an input director so it's a program that allows me to use one mouse and keyboard wireless or basically wirelessly between my work and my personal now once I figure out the, a way to do that then who knows maybe my HDMI cable would be plugged in from my personal computer into this Chromebook and I'll get away from my desktop because I tell you what this uh, Chromebook is a lot faster than my desktop I have an old Heck, I don't even know what processor it is, but it's an old computer. It's a dog. It has all the Windows. Uh, it's Windows 7. It has a bunch of Windows uh, programs on it that, again, I don't use for the most part. And I'm finding that the more I go to the cloud or online, the less I'm using uh, the Windows-based applications or programs. So that's another reason. That's a plus for me. So again, we'll see. Um, the other reason I bought it was I needed to be able to, after hours, use it, but then also wanted to have a la an inexpensive laptop for my wife to use. She uh, does Pampered Chef, and recently Pampered Chef has gone online with their 